Hello everyone, welcome back uh, again the same session. So in this new session, I'm talking about this complete Java. So with the basic, I'm going to explain generally concept of Java. So now uh, we'll talk about this Java. So before going to this, we should understand what exactly the meaning of this language is. Why say because language see so many people are using different different languages so but machine cannot understand our uh, different languages so if you need to communicate exactly with the machine we need a proper languages so that's why we understand first what exactly the meaning of this language so very pretty simple this answer so what is a language so I would say the language is a media which is used to communicate with the each other. What does it mean? Language. It's a media. It's a media which is used to communicate communicate with communicate with each other communicate with the each other this is known as a language for example <clears throat> whenever multiple humans okay so if I select my object is a human so here you can see here one side one human will be there and another side also one more human will be there okay so let me write this human is the one human here and one more human will be there <coughs> so if the multiple human is there they can easily communicate with each other with any languages okay they might use a Canada or English or any other different languages they might be using over here okay so what are the different languages available so the better languages which the english or canada or some more some more languages is there okay etc just go the different languages any <coughs> human is there they can use the different different language but if the machine is there Machine cannot understand our language, human interactable language, machine cannot understand. So what we have exactly do is, see one side human is there, another side machine is there, machine. So now human want to communicate with the machine. How exactly the human will be communicating with the machine? So. <coughs> So that's why human should learn the machine language so why do we learn the machine language it is used to communicate with the machine so which language we have to learn over here machine language you have to learn when human learns this machine language <coughs> the communication between the human and machine will be very smooth so what are the machine languages are available in the market so many machine languages are available so let me go with the c plus plus and uh, okay one by one i'm going to write c plus plus is there second one java is there third one python is also there okay etc so many languages are available so in this session i'm talking about only the java okay so java is a high level programming language so i would say java is a high level it's a oh my god it's a high level
So a level language used to develop an application. <coughs> what exactly the meaning of this java java is a high level language uh, which is used to develop an application so why do we learn this java first of all so why it's required why it's why it's required so since it is a high level programming language so so many industries or mnc companies are using the language to build an application so so that's why java is still booming so why the still companies are using the java because java is a very simple coding language very simple coding language so what exactly the meaning of very simple so here it's completely syntactical language i would say syntax syntax language and all syntaxes are are very easy if you learn properly the syntax then you can easily develop an, any application so that's why java is a very simple language and and one more advantage we have in the java java is platform <coughs> platform independent so what exactly the meaning of this java is a platform independent see other languages uh, let me take this other language in the sense i am going with the c language c it's a dependent platform dependent platform in the sense uh, see here uh, we have a many operating system for example let me take this window a window is there and uh, Mac is there and Linux is there Linux is there so Linux is there. These are all the different different platform or OS operating system. So if a different operating system is present, if we language, which language that is a C language. <clears throat> if we developed the C language for window, I can execute program in windows only so if i develop an so what happened for this it's, it's not taking and if i try to execute the same program in a Linux, it's impossible to execute. It will throw an error. So that's why it is a that's why it is a dependent. But Java is not like this. If a Java is there, one side is a Java is there. So here Java is there and along with that Java has a, a more platforms Windows and one more is Mac again one more is I'm going to select one more this Linux and one more also I'm going to select this Unix
this is another different platform okay so just as you okay java is there so this java it can be supported with a, any of the platform it might be a windows it might be a mac it might be a linux and it might be a unix so any way we can easily run the program so it's uh, one more thing it's also known as aura also known as what aura w o r e aura means very simple <coughs> right once run any time right once run any time or anywhere also you can use so anywhere uh, right anywhere so here the java is a platform independent so one more advantage is uh, we have so java is a completely the oriented language object oriented language java is object oriented language why it is called as object oriented language it has uh, two components uh, the first one is it's completely depending on objects or entity object is one of the name as an entity and one more is there that is class so in the further session we will understand what exactly the meaning of this the fourth one is the java is an extensible language so what exactly the meaning of this extensible language so i can easily explain with the example so now uh, here one client will be there one client uh, so he requires a application or software okay he is approached the company and the software company software company will try to develop a application so now they will start to develop an application with a language called java <coughs> okay for example also before talking about this java i'll, I'll give example uh, it has uh, two module how many module two modules so if the two module is there uh, the company start to develop it application with the java language so this is my base language we used java language the java language by using the java language completely develop the first module so after this they start to develop in the second module that particular time client if he uh, no required to change this so then they will use the python language so how it's even impossible sir because java is a one side on one side is a python so is it really possible yes of course possible okay we can interpret this <laughs> integrated the java and python language so this is called as extensible so nothing error no problem occurs when we are integrated the other language with the java so it is also one of the advantages java is an extensible language and the java is a robust java is a robust what is the meaning of this robust robust is nothing but it's a very strong and very efficient it's a programming language okay so if any virus anything is there so nothing problem to execute the course so that's why it is uh, called as robust and it's a very strong so it's not affected by any virus or any other things <coughs> and one more uh, it's it has a automatic garbage collector what is the meaning of this auto 
matic garbage collector what exactly this meaning automatic garbage collector is nothing but so it is used to uh, delete some unwanted memory for example when you are developing so many methods you have been created so sometimes you don't want to use these methods or it's not required in your projects so that that particular time some memory will be occupied by the codes so that it will be deleted automatically you need not to delete it explicitly so it's implicitly it will delete it each and everything so that is automatic garbage collector so for this reason so java is using this all of the different feature also we can say and now <coughs> we'll discuss this what kind of the application what kind of the application will be developed by java yes so it's a very important and a pretty simple answer so what kind of application so so many kind of application we have but uh, so among this i'm going to tell few things so the first web application i can say web application means <clears throat> it's a one kind of application in any application which is open to the browser that kind of application is called as web based application it's any time if you access the application browser is required and bandwidth is a mandatory for this required the second one as i would say this business application what exactly this business application so we can develop an blogging blogging and uh, also we can <coughs> blogger applications blogger applications then uh, we can go with the e-commerce e-commerce application also e-commerce application so this is the example belongs to the business application and one more application we have that is a mobile application which kind of application mobile <coughs> application so what is the mobile application so nowadays uh, android is there mock is there and right and right or mac applications <coughs> which is available in the play store or mac store okay so the next uh, desktop application also we can develop what kind of a desktop application for example so now i am using the different applications uh, it might be a eclipse it might be a pie charm so these are all the desktop applications a few standalone application also we can develop and one more the last one is scientific application also we can develop so these many applications we can develop by the java so as of now we learned uh, the meaning of this java why java and what kind of application we can develop with the java everything we have learned so now i'll uh, differently talk about these things so where i can write this program uh, where i can write this where i can use this language so i don't know the exact application so that's why i use first uh, text document so in the text document i can write my codes so what kind of a code i'm writing so that code is called as java program or another name is also there that is source code source code also we can see okay so this is where i can write so i can write in the text document uh, let me put it in the box
and the source code always in the high level that's it's purely the high level language right yes i need to type over here yes it's a high level and human can be understandable and it will be <coughs> saved we have to save this source code with the extension which kind of extension i am going to select so now always we use uh, which language it is java dot java extension we are use to save all the source code so we have to give the name for this let me give uh, a demo <coughs> demo dot java so this is how we save this source code okay so after this once i written the codes i need to check it out how i can check so next step is it will be compile so what is this compile compile is nothing but checking the codes written by the human <coughs> so how it will be compiled see First, it will be selected your code and it will be checked whether written the code is correct or not. So, sometime if it is not correct, so then immediately, I mean, this compilation it's unsuccessful. Unsuccessful means some somewhere you have written the wrong code, unsuccessful. unsuccessful so what happens uh, once again okay so I'll give the conclusion here for this compile so compile has a two modes one is successful and one more is the unsuccessful so for the successful I would say this is a true and one unsuccessful I would say this is a false but a compile is unsuccessful what I would say this is a error what what you can say it is it's an error and it will be generated some error report error report it will be generated error report it will be generated so when compile is not successful then it will be developed and error report if we get a uh, error as soon as get the error we have to debug it developer have to debug the code debug means have to correct it what we have to do here when a uh, error report is there we have to debug the code <coughs> if in case the compilation has been successfully done or the code will be correct or it is successful so it is a true one second oh, this is ridiculous it's a true this it's a true then things will be converted to the byte codes so what exactly the meaning of byte code so byte code is also known as intermediate code okay so intermediate code means either human can be understand not machine understandable code is called as byte code so it will be converted to the byte code it will be in the form of intermediate also known as what intermediate code this is your byte code <coughs> so let me keep in the box so i can use this a box 
so it is also saved in the form of extension which extension dot class is the extension and the name should be the same okay the file name should be the same after this what happens it will be start to interpret it how it will be interpreted very simple so here so many platform will be there uh, windows windows mac and uh, one more is there linux and unix so this is the different platform okay so whenever we have a different platform we can execute through any platform how i can execute so let me show you so now i have a byte codes and it will be executed with a different platform how it will be executed it will always executed through the jvm so jvm is a one person as i can say is that jvm it's doesn't mean that <coughs> very very simple it's a virtual machine java virtual machine so based on this virtual machine it will be read the codes and it will be execute the codes and it will be provides the output okay so each and every byte code will be communicate with jvm and jvm will be run the codes in the different different platform it might be a window it might be a mac it might be a linux oh it might be a the last one is last but but not least the language is and the platform is unix so like this it will be executed what is the full form is full form of this jvm jvm full form is java virtual machine java virtual machine what it will do it will read the code then it will run the code in a different platform and it produce an output or result so this is the this job of the java virtual machine so let me elaborate for the one second so first <coughs> developer can write the code in the text document or the different applications and it will be saved in the I mean it will be save the dot java extension and when i start to execute it it will start to compile compilation is a first part when it is start to compile if the code is correct then it will be created a byte codes or intermediate code so this intermediate code will be stored in the form of dot class and the class name should is the <coughs> file name should be the same and it will be interact with the jvm but exactly the meaning of jvm java virtual machine it will be communicate with the different, different platforms such as windows mac linux unix what it will do it will read the codes run the codes and it will provide the output or result so this is the execution principle of the java so in the next video we'll talk about this variable and data type okay so before that uh, let me give a uh, basic <coughs> and brief explanation about the variable uh, variable i can say uh, it's a one of the memory it is used to store the data so and why the data type is required because uh, without knowing the data type uh, we cannot store which kind of the data we are going to store in the particular memory or location 
uh, sometimes it might be a number data type sometimes it might be a character data type so we cannot understand this now so the next video i will be explain what is the variable and what is the data type what are the different data types are there how we can store data in the memory everything we'll discuss in the next video thank you